Gentlemen, ladies, and anyone in between, I welcome you all. And today, we'll be getting up close and personal with the latest and greatest iteration of Shimano's well-known, been around forever, Shimano Stratic. And this, my friends, is quite possibly the most important spinning reel release that Shimano's come out with in a long time. Come on. Now this was ordered off of the Ebays, shipped direct from Malaysia. I ordered it on Saturday, it's now Wednesday, and when I received the tracking, it said like within minutes of ordering that it'll be here but you know, 10.30 in the morning on Wednesday. And here we are at exactly 10.30, it came in the mail 10.22. And uh, here we have the 2500 sized 5.3 to 1 gear ratio Shimano Stratic FL. Have the schematic, more bubble wrap on the interior to protect it in the shipping. We have some shimming washers and you have some tape. Usually this tape is used to protect the real foot. Although this may actually be better suited to keep the line on the spool from slipping if you're using braid. And that's it. Nothing else on the inside at all whatsoever. And of course the handle. So this is gonna be a quick unboxing and analysis. I'm not gonna do a tear down in this video, but I'm gonna follow this one up shortly Ooh, that's nice with a direct comparison to the FK and we're gonna compare it also to the ballistic and whatnot all right so this this plunger slides and if you kind of reverse thread it see how you, you can remove that if you ever need to clean out under there but one thing I noticed right away one piece there's no hinge something that Dio has been doing for a while there's no need for it to really collapse, to be honest. You can just take the handle off. Genuine. That's a new sticker. That's pretty nice. out of the way. Put the mic to it so you guys can hear what I'm feeling. Buttery smooth. Nice and slow oscillation stroke. And it has a very tall, this again, 2500 size. One of the selling features of the new FK, sorry, the new FL versus the FK, is the taller long stroke spool. That was found on the older Stellas. The 4K was the, the taller spool version. You know what, let me grab the 4K. So this was the taller spool. This is almost, I don't want to say long cast, but essentially that's what it was. It was a super tall spool for a 4K size reel. And what that allows for is when you make a cast, as the line's being peeled off the spool, it changes direction off the, as it comes off the spool fewer times per inch of line. And that, that allows for less turbulence going through the line, line guides and longer casts. How about that? And no, on and off anti reverse switch so there's a one less point for water to get in or debris to get in what a nice reel how's the drag clicker sound looks familiar down here at least in this area you have a rubber lip seal on the main shaft here. 
Now, Al Alcoholic Lee on Stripers Online, he had uh, received his two days ago. And uh, he already submerged it in the fish tank for 60 seconds and found out just how not waterproof this reel is. Water got inside the body. So this is not a reel that can be submerged in any size. Uh, but what it will do is, assuming it's like the FK, it'll hold up a little bit to exposure to salt splashes and just that kind of external water. But high pressure, submersions, uh-uh. So theoretically, haven't tested it, haven't put any time on it, it should hold up as you would expect uh, a ballistic uh, with the mag seal and uh, yeah this is a, a nice reel has a long cast spool it's a 5.3 to 1 gear ratio which is only available unfortunately overseas and I'm, I'm glad it is I mean I, I wish of all things if Shimano would offer multiple gear ratios in the 2500 or 3000 size I wish they offered two um, I've been fishing a 3000 Stella for a long time and it's got the higher gear ratio. I find that the lower gear ratio for my fishing, since I'm not using it as a drop shot reel, uh, I prefer the lower gear. Unfortunately, with the largemouth bass market pretty much driving all import decisions for most reels, most people want that higher gear ratio so they can reel back up real quick and get pitch out another cast with the drop shot. Whereas if I'm fishing jerk baits or if I'm dragging bottom, I want the slower gear ratio. And everybody that I've talked to, everybody I know personally, they prefer the lower gear ratio. So, unfortunately, if you want the 5.3 to 1, you got to get it from overseas, which has pretty much always been the case. So, uh, yeah, it's a really nice reel. Super smooth, out of the box. It's brand new. I know it hasn't put any time on it. And, uh, you know what? I'm curious. I'm a big fan of double paddle handles, as you can see here. This handle here costs the same amount as this reel, just to give you an idea. This is a Umaya magnesium double paddle handle designed for this Stella FI, and it looks like it threads on as it can hit the frame. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And if you look closely here, look at this center screw. See how it stays perfectly centered? See, there's no drift. That center axis stays perfect. It'll let you know that everything throughout the center axis is in line. Um, I've seen reels in the past where you can see that kind of wobbling around a little bit. So we have a carbon fiber drag stack, which I believe is also found in the 2500. I'm not going to really do a full tear down, but I do want to inspect that to see if that's the case. Nope, felt. On the 2500, it is felt. And while we're at it, we'll see if the 3000 Stella FI spool fits, just for its and shiggles. <laughs> it looks like it does so far. Wow, that's neat. Let me try and do this as quickly as possible. I wanted to see if this fits on the Stella. It looks like it fits. Doesn't bump, doesn't rub. We'll have to spool some line and see if it works. The reason why I did that is because Aquaholic Lee on Stripers Online pointed out that it does, does indeed fit. And I'm not taking anything away from him. I'm not doubting him at all anyway. I just wanted to find out firsthand because I have the two reels side by side. So why not? Beautiful reel. A lot of Stella technology found its way into a $200 form factor. And from what I understand, this reel is not going to see an increase in price on the U.S. market, uh, which is nice. Uh, I made the comment on one of the message boards stating that if this reel found its way up into the $250 price, 
which if you use currency conversions compared to what the Australian market's selling this thing for, uh, it would come out to around 229 to 250. That would be an absolute uh, travesty. <laughs> but yeah, so the rotor design has changed a little bit versus the FK. And we'll see how solid it is. Oh, wow. That's a strong rotor. And when we do the tear down, we're going to weigh the rotors compared to the other one. With a 5.3 to 1 gear ratio, there really isn't any startup inertia that I can find. Um, which I would assume would also be the case for the 6.2 to 1. Uh, cosmetically, has a rash guard that comes around and follows the entire base of the reel. Look at that. So you have this darker gunmetal. It's a beautiful reel. Like this reel is one of the best looking reels that I've ever really come across. Very reminiscent of my old Stratic MG with the original the original magnesium stratic. The only difference is I think this silver is a little bit lighter, but has the same kind of metallic gunmetal. Nice and clicky bail. Everything about it seems very nice. Very smooth finish. Beautiful. So when we do uh, tear this down, we're going to tear it down next to either a ballistic or a tattoola. We're going to compare it to the FK, and we're going to compare it to the Abu Garcia Premier Spinning Reel. All around $200 reels. Um, it goes without saying, honestly, guys, does anybody else out there make a spinning reel equal to that of Daiwa and Shimano for freshwater applications? I, I don't think so. I mean, bait casting reels are a lot simpler, so you have tons of competition out there. But when you handle a Shimano, a Daiwa, and you compare it to any other Abu Garcia pen, it's, they're just not even in the same ballpark. So I'm just going to keep it simple. I'm just going to bring in the Daiwa, and I'm going to bring in one outsider, the Abu, because it, it, we did the, three, uh, the $300 13 fishing reel. That thing was a, a complete pile, I mean, for $300. So we'll just do a quick basic teardown and comparison between these. And then we're going to go out and fish and see how it handles. I mean... It's a Stratic, guys. Shimano wouldn't put this reel out if there are any issues with it. <clears throat> Stella's with the bail opening and the Stella from Alan Hawk saying the washer's sliding out. I don't know. But until then, thank you guys for showing up and checking out this video. Hope you guys enjoyed this. I wanted to keep this as quick and simple as possible. And yeah, lovely reel. Really is nice. Shimmed very nicely. A little bit of play. Just a little bit. Handle knob. Pretty darn good. Works for me. Take care, guys. Tight lines, and I'll see you soon.